Hey guys, it's Bubba here, and in this video we're taking a look at how bad was Windows 8, truthfully. As we all know, Windows 8 was one of Microsoft's most hated operating systems because of its start screen. However, did Windows 8 deserve this hate, and is Windows 8 still feasible in 2023? In this video we're today taking a look at exactly that. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at both Windows 8 RTM and Windows 8.1, because both of these have had significant roles in the past of Windows 8's history. So of course, as we can see, we're starting off with Windows 8, and I just want to touch on a few brief things on why people hated this OS so much. The first thing is the start screen. The start screen was a big change from your typical start menu that was found on Windows XP, Vista, and 7, and it, it just wasn't, it was hated. This worked extremely well on touchscreen devices, but it didn't work that well on regular desktop computers. I would have loved, and I would still love, to have this user interface on a touchscreen. But unfortunately, Microsoft decided to take that to the desktop as well, which is where they really killed themselves. This should have been, when you're in tablet mode, this should have been a tablet mode feature, and then they should have kept something like your typical start menu when the desktop mode is active. Another thing is the removal of the start button, where you have to go to the corner to open it. This is something that doesn't bother me as much, it's just, it's just kind of there. The other thing is, okay, how do you shut down the operating system? Well, to shut down the operating system, you have to open the charms bar, go to settings, power, and shut down. Which for most people, that's that's kind of hidden. They're not going to figure that out. The other thing is Metro apps. These new full screen apps just weren't that intuitive for most people. Like, you know, why do we have two Internet Explorers, first of all? But second of all, like, it's full screen. It, it can't. It's not really that good at, you know, multitasking anything. I mean, I can... I can kind of snap them with a desktop, but like, why? What is the point of doing this when I could just have a desktop open and snap my windows like that? The inclusion of that start screen in those Metro UI apps were kind of ridiculous. Now let's talk about some of Windows 8's great points. Performance, and I'm gonna say this with both Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, but Windows 8 and 8.1 were some of the most optimized versions of Windows period. Because they were optimized to run on touchscreens and older hardware, this is a perfect operating system for like old car old computers that you still want to use. This can run with very minimal RAM and very minimal processor capabilities. I mean, this OS is truly like the lightweight version of Windows, which is why I used it on all of my lower-end hardware back in the day. Not Windows 8 8.1, which again, we'll get to that in a minute. But I mean, yeah, just I mean, I mean everyone's familiar with Windows 8. I just want to spend a few more minutes taking a look at the UI here. I mean... My personal opinion, I am a big fan of this Metro UI stuff, like this flat design. I really like this, and I prefer this over Windows 10 any day. Windows 11, not so much, but Windows 10, I, I would prefer this design in this OS over Windows 10 pretty much any day, all day. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at Windows 8.1. And here we are, loading into Windows 8.1. The first thing you'll notice is that on first boot, we don't go to the start screen. We go straight to the desktop. This is, of course, based on feedback from people in the community saying we hate the start screen. Luckily, the start menu button is back, but it takes you to the start screen. Many of people's gripes with Windows 8 actually got fixed in Windows 8.1, and I don't think people give Microsoft enough credit. They actually listened to their users, and they actually fixed a ton of things in Windows 8.1. For example, how do we shut down the computer? Bam, it's right there. We have the start menu, we have the start button back. And Metro apps have a different user experience. They now have this bar at the top where you can minimize them, maximize them. And the split screen just, it works a little better. Does it make full sense? No, but it works a little better. It's more adjustable. It works better. So, I mean, split screen still didn't make sense. I would probably prefer that the metro apps be windowed and not full screen but it, it still works it's still there people couldn't get over and they have to open this and click on stuff to go places i used windows 8.1 from 2013 to 2015 roughly windows 8.1 was one of my favorite operating systems i sound crazy when i say that but i really really loved windows 8.1 it just felt so modern, so fluid, and I never any start menu customizations. I always used the start screen on my non-touch laptop. I remember I would I loved it. 
Now, granted, my screen isn't as big as it is today. You know, this is a 32-inch monitor. I did not have a 32-inch monitor in 2013. But I just loved opening and clicking on the tiles. That was my favorite thing. I loved Windows 8.1. I can see why people did not like Windows 8. But Windows 8.1 was truly a revolution when it came to Windows 8 to 8 from when it came to Windows progression. They took a, they took a look at everything that people hated about Windows 8, remedied it, and pushed it back out into production. And for that, I will always be thankful that Microsoft did that. They also added this all apps list, which was lacking in Windows 8. You know, it's all here. And, again, Windows 8 runs on very low hardware. I mean, Windows 8.1, that's what I meant. Windows 8.1 runs on very low hardware. I mean, this, this I've seen this run on Pentium 4s, probably even Pentium 3s. I haven't seen it, but I would probably assume it does. This is truly the best operating system for low-end hardware. Unfortunately, Microsoft killed it off in January, which I wish there was extended support for this. I really wish this operating system could continue to thrive today. In fact, I remember there was a time last year, actually, where I tried to dual boot Windows 8.1 and Windows 11 just because I loved 8.1. Didn't work because my processor's too new. But with that being said, this was just a brief overview on how bad was Windows 8.1 and Windows 8. I'm honestly going to say it was not that bad. I was one of the crazy people who liked Windows 8, so again, call me crazy. I may be crazy. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for now and here as you do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restoration.